Now I know what you're thinking. Austin, did you actually carve all the pumpkins you see behind me here? No, I didn't, but it does match the Halloween vibe I'm trying to give off because today I'm going to be talking about stones. And before you get all excited, no, not kidney stones. We're talking about gravestones, the slabs of rock that sit upon the decaying flesh and bones of previously living things. Also, I'm wearing a zombie hot dog costume. Yeah, I'm taking this off. Oh no, I ripped it! I ripped it! Oh, there goes my Halloween. I literally just ripped the back of his head off. Now he doesn't look normal. So scary things, you know, are, are happening in this world, if you haven't noticed. Possible World War III, economic collapse, government corruption, 90% of vegans, let's just face it. This shirt, which is like three times too big for me, but it's the only orange one that I've got. There's seemingly no end to the things that scare the life out of me. Which leads me to another scary topic. At the end of this terrifying and confusing life, we die. And while we often look at death the same way cats look at cucumbers, There's some people that look death straight in the eye and decide to give us something to laugh at instead. So today we're gonna take a look at some of the most humorous gravestones out there. Maybe one day your death can bring joy and happiness to others as well. Leslie Nielsen was a very famous comedian, and he actually liked fart jokes a lot. At least that's what the internet said, so I guess it must be true. On his gravestone, he put the line, let her rip, which is not only a nod to his kind of humor, it's also a double meaning on the word rip because it's on a gravestone, so it means two things. I can't decide if this was the guy's last name or he was buried by somebody who didn't like him very much. This man was a butt. Robert Clay Allison had possibly the coolest title of all time. He was a Texas cattle rancher and a gunfighter. That is very cool. On his gravestone, it read Robert Clay Allison, 1840 to 1887. He never killed a man. That did not need killing. And I know some people are like, oh, how can you say that? No man deserves to die. I differ. Greatly. I meet people every day that deserve to die. Adolf Hitler. Saddam Hussein. Have you ever been to Walmart? Terrorists. People that want to kill and shoot people. Those people deserve to die, don't they? They do. There's a gravestone in Georgia that belongs to Amaryllis Jones. It reads, I told you I was sick. Now I can't tell if Lester had this gravestone because he loved sharks or if he was eaten by one. Or if he was one. How about this gravestone of a precious dog whose owners loved it very much, but let the kid responsible know they were holding a grudge. Now some people wonder what it must be like to be underground for such a long period of time in a casket. Other people realize it doesn't matter because you'd be dead. But now we get a rare insight into a dead man named Mitchell who apparently has seen better times. Now I might disappoint some of you guys to know that Bugs Bunny was not actually voiced by a bunny. No Blank not only did the voice of Bugs Bunny, but also other famous characters including Porky Pig, whose famous line at the end of the shows was... That cold, huh? Mel Blank requested that that line be put on his gravestone as a final farewell to everybody. That's all folks. And that is all folks for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button. Also, apparently there is a little bell now next to that subscribe button that notifies you specifically when I come out with videos. It's the thing to do now, and heaven forbid you go against the latest fashion, so hit that as well. Follow me on Twitter and tweet me, or follow me on Facebook, and I guess you just like me. The hot dog doesn't. Because I killed it. I'll see you guys later. Happy Halloween. Go scare the snot out of somebody. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye. Folks.